people like Neil Oliver, the Scottish TV presenter and historian. He has recently spoken out about the lockstep of Western governments slowly marching towards full-blown tyranny. He's not a far-right conspiracy theorist. He's just a common-sense Scotsman who tells us what he sees with his own eyes. He sees a world of leaders exploiting a pandemic to gain political and personal power. But he asks, how far will they go? World leaders often claim that they are not forcing us to get vaccinated, but in the same breath, they tell us if we don't, we'll lose our jobs, we won't be able to go to the pub to have a beer with our mates, we won't even be able to travel to see our family. For them, it's a game of words. Leaders of the free world are pretending that they still serve us and that we still have a choice. We won't force you to get vaccinated, but we so obviously are. Oliver has called this out for what it is, immoral and corrupt behaviour. Although the leaders are not physically forcing us to get the jab, they are on the verge. Austria is planning to make vaccines mandatory. How will they enforce this? Will a simple fine be enough? If so, this would unfairly target poor people who cannot afford the fine, whereas rich people could essentially pay their way out of vaccination. Will prison sentences follow to those who disobey? Will people actually hold you down and force a needle in your arm? And if so, who will do the holding and who will do the injecting? Surely a doctor who has sworn an oath would never do such a thing. And if so, they should be stripped of any medical licenses or credentials. But as Oliver said, even if countries go down that path, that's not necessarily a bad thing. At least finally these leaders will reveal their true nature. Tyrants who were just masquerading as freedom-loving representatives of the people. For now I choose to believe, at least to hope, that unmasked totalitarianism such as we shall shortly see in Germany and Austria and elsewhere, if and when vaccines are made compulsory and then enforced, that enough people will be so repelled by the behaviour of the leaders and the leader servants that they will stand up and say no and mean it. The line separating good and evil passes through every human heart. I believe that. I know it runs through mine, and I have the capacity to do wrong as well as right. The outcome of all of this is up to us, and there is something else worth remembering every day. Governments amount to hundreds, but we amount to millions. They are few, and we are many. <laughs>